tonight at 9 Eastern time right here on DirecTV's audience channel number 239 is a show that's already winning acclaim from critics coast to coast uh the show called kingdom i have two stars of that right here jonathan tucker and matt loria matt good to see you sir good morning jonathan i'm gonna reach How across you, pardon I'll me matt, good to see you guys congrats on the new show and congrats on your new show thank you I the mean, only critic we care about is you and your team i appreciate that so we better watch the show tonight. Be, i don't have enough nice. i don't have enough thumbs to to go up oh Fantastic. thank you be sweet to us you know no, <laughs> no I, please it, it's everyone's so excited around here that this show is on the air, an original program that's winning critics already right now. What what do you think works about this show in your estimation? I think, I think uh, first and foremost, it's the writing. I think there's, there's really well-drawn, uh, very complex, uh, complicated characters. Mm -hmm. and, then, uh, and then it's an exciting, sort of unprecedented backdrop to sort of set these uh, really psychological characters in. Right. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I mean, DirecTV has given us this incredible opportunity to let artists kind of do what they what they want to do, and, right. and 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 it speaks to the the, the opportunity that, that Byron Belasco had as the creator of the show, mm -hmm. what he gave to us as actors um, in the world to play in. And MMA is aggressive, it is raw, that it's it graphic. Is. We're hoping that you know that forty yard dash that you did, we might yeah. be able to get you into the ring, to the cage, well, I don't do know. something commensurate. What, what would I do if at the end, instead of going running through what I just you I'm know, sure just there's a kick, few exercises what would I do? you could come up with. What would I do? I don't know if I've got the core to pull that off. Uh, I think you do. You do? Hey, absolutely. Is that right? Yeah. It's easy. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. Uh, I, yeah, we should uh, we should get you in there to, to punch us in the face a little bit. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I've never been invited to do that to somebody. That's I would, a, that's I would a first, welcome by you the to. way. I appreciate it. No, uh, listen. If we get a season two, we get an assurance from, <laughs> from Rich Eisen that you're coming down. Uh, listen, the man who can who can green light that is probably right around Fantastic. the corner. Fantastic. We'll do a cross-promotional sort and of he's, thing. And he's he's so in. psyched. About everyone, I'm seriously, everybody around us is, is so excited. What what was it like to train for this show? What was well, you know, like? we've got we've got coaches like Greg Jackson, who's got John Jones and GSP and right. Cowboy. Uh, Joe Daddy Stevenson from Ultimate Fighter and a, a real champ in his own right in UFC. These are the kind of guys who are informing us uh, mm -hmm. day to day, uh, moment to moment. Make sure those those uh, punches connect properly. Make sure all the jujitsu is down. So when you've got that sort of talent mm -hmm. uh, with you every day and the bags hanging up that you can't walk by without hitting, um, that's the sort of veracity that you kind of find on the on, on our set. And we, we were fortunate to undergo a, 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 an intensive training uh, regimen before we began to. Like and, a boot camp or something? Yeah, we had the, uh, myself and Tucker and Jonas, we all had a, a three-week training camp under the sort of uh, tutelage of Jackson. Uh, um, Nick Jonas, you're referring to, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, who's a tough kid. And, um, and Joe Daddy Stevenson just day in, day out for two weeks just beat the heck out of us and crammed as much technique. And, and the other thing is to, to really immerse yourself in, in the, uh, the sort of culture of the sport and get to know the guys and the gals, the gals that are doing it and, and rub elbows with them and, and armpits sometimes, you know, then it's like... I think the most important thing for us, you know, is, is, is we had fighters on set every single day. So all the background guys, those are all fighters. And all the people that we fight in the cage for the show, those are all fighters. And you start to realize that all these guys are driven to that cage for different reasons, and primarily it's not money. Um, a lot of these guys don't have enough money to put gas into, sure. into their car, so they're sleeping on couches. They're, they're, every nickel they have is going towards training, is going towards their diet, and we really wanted to respect them with, uh, with this show and to kind of shed light on, on that aspect of MMA and fighting. The, the, I'm pleased to have this as the first clip. We're going to roll our first clip in the history of this show. Thanks. Let's this do this. Is, this is it. Dad. We'll always have. We'll always first have time. this. No one can ever take this away oh, from us. That's boy, true. Here's exciting. a clip of Kingdom tonight. At, oh my goodness gracious. That's uh, that's my character Ryan Wheeler at, yeah. at the halfway house. That I've just emerged from prison after uh, kind of ruining my life, my life and the lives of those who I care about, and just getting out of prison at the beginning of the first episode and living in this halfway house. So you had the cauliflower ear in that scene. Yeah, trying not to cause trouble, and this guy is, uh, he's trifling. Did you ever take a punch you didn't intend to take on the show? Yeah, I took a couple. I think we both have, uh, I got one from Frank Grillo. I got a good solid Ooh. jab. I, I put it about 85 to 90% power. Yeah. Right here. And then, um, and then I got a couple of digs in the, in the ribs. Fortunately, not the liver. Uh, but it kind of feels good in a fight club-y sort of, so you took your punch and you got, you sort of, like We're a in the quarterback of a, getting his first hit of the season. Yeah, you like know, like it. football players getting out on the field, they take their first hit and they're like, okay, now I'm in the game. Yeah. And I th that's how it felt. We were doing some fight choreography 
and I didn't want to stop the momentum. And I got tagged in the face. And I kind of looked at Frank, and he sort of imperceptibly was like, "Whoops," you know. And mm -hmm. then, uh, and uh, I leaned into it, I guess. And so, then we were just like, "Yeah, game on." Game on. Yeah. That happened to you, Tucker? Oh yeah, I took an elbow from Jay Thoroughbred Haran, the <laughs> champ himself. Well, anybody with a nickname of Thoroughbred. Well, look him up, Jay Haran. Look him. You he know looked you, you up. Are. You cracked <laughs> me open. Twelve stitches. Yeah, he looked you up. Um, right there. And uh, you know, you've been on audience before because Friday Night Lights yes, sir. was was on here and saved in in many ways, which is one of my favorite programs. Oh, wow. Watching that show, me and my buddies would call each other up after an episode and say, did you cry? And I'm like, yeah, we, we, <laughs> Get out we here. cried. I'm not kidding. Oh, wow. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. And you were you were phenomenal on Thank it. Thank you I, so much. And I noticed you wore 44. Love it. Was there any particular uh, significance yeah, to this number Yeah, I was so for you? excited. I, you know, I was this this stout, I was playing this stout uh, young back. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and at the time, I think there was a couple numbers that were being thrown around. I think 44 was an option. I was like, I got to have it. And, uh, you know, I, I'm a big Redskin fan. Obviously, the Diesel, uh, you know, won the Super Bowl in, in 82, the year I was born. I remember it vividly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, uh, Same so, thing with me with the Jets championship the year I was born. Exactly. Yeah, I remember that vividly, too. <laughs> so uh, Hold on to that memory. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> to hold on for. I know. I don't remember my mother back then, but I do remember <laughs> my father cradling me and screaming at the TV. Yeah. No, um, but, yeah, so, uh, you know, Riggins, great back and, and uh, you know. I know, there's a Riggins, it's Tim Riggins on that show too. Yeah, you know, so there's a lot of Riggins. It was a nice, it was a nice, uh, nice homage. Yeah, exactly. And and you're a Boston guy? Is yeah, yeah, true? yeah. I actually I brought you a gift, you know, because I know you you're a father. I am I know that. you're a man of integrity and you're okay. working so hard okay. for a team that works as hard as, okay. as this team does. Well, I thought there, I, there's a few gifts. So one for you and then for your kids and okay. for everybody else. Oh, there's there's goodness, a nice gracious. looking cap, a beautiful socks cap. Oh, so I'm a Patriots fan, I'm a Bruins fan, a Celtics fan. 82, you know, my father couldn't get out of the emergency room when I was yeah. being delivered to watch them <laughs> play the, uh, the Lakers. Uh, this is just that one's for Tucker, your child. Untenable. I want to make sure that your <laughs> By kid, the way, my, my kid, sure is your kid had a little integrity in his we life. We can swaddle one of them in this. Isn't that perfect? <laughs> oh, and then just one gosh. more. And this is really the all encompassing Boston. I'm from oh, Charlestown, the People's okay. Republic. This is neat. 02129. And this that's that's a special one. You can't buy that unless you're in Charlestown with Johnny Kelly now on this the is corner. Neat. This is this is something that I would actually wear. It's the other ones I'm going well, to burn. Well, this is representative of many teams. <laughs> Immediately. I hope uh, I hope you enjoy. Yeah, I'm no. a big Pats fan, so this has been a a, a roller coaster. Yeah. Ten day period. But you know, for us. listen. You know, the last 10, 11 years has been one of the greatest runs. Oh, yeah. In the history and of New England Boston. sports. Yeah, of New yeah. of all of them. You Absolutely. just named. You named four championship it's, teams, and you know, growing up, you know, growing up in the in the eighties and, and early nineties, when I, I got to see those teams not yeah. uh, win anything, it's 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 a privilege to be able to see you know the yin and the yang because anybody who's grown up uh, with watching Boston, the, these d d dynastic teams, really win. Boy, I, I feel badly for them because what comes up, you know, will come down. You are hearing some words that Brady might not finish his career there. You know, Brady said, "I want to yeah. be a Patriot. I huh. love being a Patriot." But I don't want to play anywhere else. I'm very happy here. But, yeah, yeah look, the fact is is that the reality of sports is that there's a lot of extraordinary players who have ended their careers in different teams. And he said LeBron and, and Montana and you know, Peyton and all these other guys. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, we're thrilled to have him, he's, and I think he's going to have a successful season. Yeah, I think he and, will, too. And I think he'll end on his own terms. Yeah, I think we will, too. I hope how, so. how did you get? How did you get it with the World Series trophy? How did that happen? Oh, yeah. Well, I can't go into the full details. Whoa. But I got to say, you, I am are, holding the World Series trophy on are. the field. 2007, Colorado. We won in the sweep. What do you mean? And did you did you storm you the field? Is that why? Can you to is, see the, the jacket that I'm wearing? Is, I, that, I, is it not got. safe for work? I don't know if it's... If well, it's, it's an official He's not wearing it's pants. Don't pull it's out. It's not pull <laughs> That's how we got the trophy. Why can't you say you got on? Well, I didn't even have a ticket for the game, sir. And what, I ended up what? on the field what? holding that trophy. And I got to tell you, when your friends Did you are find texting a loophole you, in security? I found a loophole. And when your <laughs> friends are telling you, when your friends are telling you, like, oh, my God, we just won the World Series, and you're able to fire back a text holding the trophy on the field, there just is nothing better. Yeah, that, that'll shut them up. It was pretty fantastic. That's probably the best memory of, uh, of, my, sports, of my sports career. <laughs> that'll shut them up. It'll also get you arrested. Yeah. Well, thankfully, well, he was he out. spent the night in jail. That's I mean, that's the end of the story. Well, now you know how to fight your way out of a situation. <laughs> well, we're a very proud community yeah, in Boston. No <laughs> doubt. Well, um, I appreciate you bringing me uh, three items, one of which I will wear proudly. And your and your kids can wear the other one. Oh, uh, the other one. I just drew. You know, listen. My my wife is from the area, and she's getting the kids into a lot. I mean, 
you know, they know Robert Parrish is double zero. They Parrish, know Mikhail this. Bird. I'm, listen, I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a Yankee fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fine, you know, uh, the, the Patriots, obviously, you know, I'm an NFL guy. That's fine. I draw the line at the Red Sox. Oh, that's I, 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 there, is a, there is a red line. Yeah, that's that too bad. Be, I can't do bad. it. I just can't oh. do it. But You're a good guy and you're working hard. Thank it's you. too Same bad you. you can't have a little bit more uh, spontaneity. Oh, oh, man. Listen, I appreciate uh, you bringing <laughs> this in. And, and it's really neat seeing you two guys right before the debut of a show that's going to hit it's it. It's exciting. And, oh, thank and you. good luck with the show. I don't, you don't need it. And congrats on the success that's about to come and hit you. Thanks Thank you us. so much, like man. You Thanks for having the us show. On. You bet. Such Matt a pleasure. Lauder, Thank Tucker, you. Good to Four see you. 40-yard dash, you're going to come into the cage if we go season two. I'm going to train with you guys. Fantastic. Right. How about I'm going to train with you guys. You heard it Perfect. Here. I will vomit while training with you guys. In that's, the suit. I'm sure. That's yeah. expected. Yes. But, you know, that's, that'll be the dry cleaning bill. <laughs> I'll, I'll send that to Chris Long. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern tonight, right here on this channel. Kingdom, you should not miss it. And if you do, you're going to DVR it. Otherwise, these two guys are going to come to your house and absolutely hit you. They know how to do it. Uh, Matt Loria and Jonathan Tucker.